Ableton. So Ableton gang, FL gang, everybody's welcome. I'm gonna show you some dope tricks that you can implement right away. Ableton, Ableton. Come on guys, come on guys, let's go. Doesn't matter what type of draw I'm using, the most important thing is the techniques. You know what I mean? How's the audio? How's everything? Let me know in the chat. sounds that's the that's the sound that I'm using live chat stay with me this hour i'm gonna show you some dope tricks for real no clickbait no nothing nothing like that so share come on guys i'm expecting a lot of you let's go
Yo guys, so tell me in the chat where you're from. This is my first producer grind stream, so please bear with me. Show some support. Support and uh, yeah, can't wait to show you some tricks, man, and see your feedback if you like them or not. Nice, United Kingdom. Where exactly? Czechia, Europe. We're neighbors, almost. Good beer, good beer, right? Budweiser, it's originally Czech, right? Come on, guys, one more song, one more track, one beat of mine, and I'm gonna start cooking. It's too early for you, huh? <laughs> guys like feel that have like would benefit like what, what kind of tip would benefit like melody wise drums wise guys so i'm expecting a lot of you to hop in the chat to hop in, in the live stream because i'm honestly i haven't like in mind to show you some really dope tricks that i never ever showed to anyone and i was expecting to leave this for me i, I even never seen it on youtube believe me or not you will decide uh like for the example situations when you get stuck and you don't know what to do with the melodies and stuff like that So, my name is Axley Beats. Uh, many of you maybe don't know me. Uh, I'm a pro loop maker. Why, why am I saying pro? Because I do this for a living. This is my job 24-7. I do loops and sounds, drums, one shots, you name it. Um, for some time now. Uh, and it's an honor to be here with Producer Grind. 
and also making sounds with them. And uh, they're an amazing team, and I look forward to make this live stream. So I'll be cooking up with. You know, it's Friday, right? And the new PG Weekly dropped. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you some techniques about like when you're stuck with the music and stuff. No, this is, this is a secret project I cannot show you yet. The PG, I'm not even allowed to say the name. So the, these, this is the PG Weekly 35 Dark Edition, drops this Friday. We got some uh, melody midis, melodies, like full loops. You got some of mine's here. Another dope one. You got the link in the description how to get them. Like some one shots, analog stuff. Yeah, bro. So weekly we have like new stuff coming out. Get you out of that. Uh, gets you out of that routine. You know what I mean? Fresh new sounds every week. So what I was saying. Let's take a midi. I'm gonna cook up a loop. Let's take it this way. Remember what I'm using, you can use this in any DAW. Okay, let's load up a bank. Analog, of course. I have also FL, so don't underestimate me. <laughs> yeah, man, tons of dope new sounds. Let's take this one, for example. Mm, let's see this one. sample this is what would you do in Edison like when you want to record so there's nothing out of the ordinary awesome okay because you know when you have audio the CPU doesn't go crazy. So, for example, you have this melody MIDI and you wa want to make it yours without like copying exactly the, the, the MIDI, right? You want to be more like authentic, original, right? The one thing, there are many techniques that you can do. Usually I like to Double it. Double it and pitch it up directly here on the track. And on another layer, I like to double it. And this, I'm going to stretch it. And take it ba back one octave so with this type of technique we already like 
we we are on step one because even if you don't have many sounds you can do with one sound we can do crazy ton of stuff let's reverse it let's test it out how does it sound reversed This way you already have a counter melody and you have the main melody. So, and we, remember, we only used only one sound. We didn't do any plugins except this pitch shifter that you already can do with stock stuff, right? Stock plugins. As many of you, maybe you know, this plugin is for free. You can check it out on, um, uh, yeah, what is it? Ah, UGEM, yeah, UGEM. It's called Fine Micro. This will add those uh, tiny little sparks, uh, like pitched up tiny little sparks, you know? <laughs> See, th th this is, I'm not sponsored by Ableton, but honestly, for melodies, it's so, 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 so fast, bro. So f freaking fast. <laughs> This portal bang is so crazy. This this is gonna be released soon, so by producer grind it's gonna be I cannot say when. It's a surprise. Instantly from a violin. Come on bro, come on bro. And 
now, guys, are you ready? I'm going to show you a trick that I hopefully... will be really good. Now you resample again, but this time you take this, pitch it up again, 12. Maybe it will suck, maybe no. So we are always testing, right? And I'm gonna double it again. Let's see. Maybe it sucks, maybe no. We'll see. Ah, wait a minute. Record without the bass. Maybe you'll go even crazier. Double it more. There are no rules when doing like melodies. Even reverse it. Let's see in context. Like as a texture, you know, or an accent. Let's add, go even more further. Let's take a portal. Go crazy, bro. There is no wrong or good way. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. Let's try this one. Really dope, freeze and flatten, which means you can do this in Edison, but in Ableton is faster. <coughs> or maybe you can now, I don't know, make the same. Let's hear it. <laughs> can pan it I use pan flow this plugin is free as well and you can generate generate different algorithms for the panning saw what I did there so I did a, I took a bell shot I took a bell shot and I reversed it to sound like not to be as boring as every eight bars you know just to change a little bit I 
I guess we're we're kind of done with the loop. Let's resample it again. It's gonna be so hard. I can already feel that. All right. always use like a piano I, I've already exported one this is another cool trick because when I mess around with the pitch and stuff like that this piano will tell me if it's in the C note or no and how many semitones do I have to pitch up or down so this way I don't have to use my a tuner I use only my ear you know so it's in E so it's a good key, even for an 808. But first, I would like to try, and I like this this like kind of detuned out of key stuff here in the end. Here we go. Too much. This is too much. Let's go. downside of Ableton the drums kind of hard to make like not that hard but definitely easier in FL Thank you. 
sharp all right and this one i'll send it to another one Where's the loop from? I did the loop. I did the loop like 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel like a hit one sound would suit this better. Not gonna, not gonna lie. I think so. Yeah, so you saw that, guys. We started from here. <laughs> Another thing like this like maybe you can do the beat upload it on beat stars like make it like this and you can send this as a loop for example if you like the both of them you know what I mean so this is the cool thing when you start like making melodies <clears throat> and uh, we started with the uh, MIDI MIDI from uh, from the PG weekly right send this as send, I, I usually do it like this like i send this as a loop and if i like the beat i upload it on the beat stars you know and you already like you know the saying like uh work smarter not harder you know and also you can send these like for example you, you like these two stuff two two stems i send these as a starter to another producer come on guys come on Whole lot of gems right here. Maybe reverse it. Load it a couple of semitones. I sent so you have when you start making loops and uh, melodies, for example, this you can the first one, this you can uh, uh this one you can uh, send it as a loop, this one as a starter for another producer, and this is as a beat. So you got one hour, one half an hour of work, and you have free products. Okay, guys, so I want to cook up another one. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna call it um, PG Live, PG Live Stream.
ask you. Come on, guys. Do you have any questions? Any? I'm open to any kind of questions regarding music, of course. Guys, I'm gonna preview some sounds from a future producer grind multi kit production suite. It's so crazy and it's gonna be so huge. When the guys uh, send it to me, I was like super impressed. This is a whole freaking library of sounds, drums, loops. It's super crazy. Let me preview some stuff for you, but I'm gonna do a new session. Oh, I'm glad that we are only 30, 30 guys in here. I'm going to show you some thoughts on analog pedals. Thoughts on analog pedals. It's like, you know, the difference between like saying, um, like, um, riding a, an automated gear or a manual gear, you know? Always, all, every time the DAW will take you faster, will take you definitely faster, and you can do the both jobs very well, even with pedals or without pedals or analog gear. But the thing is, when you when you drive a manual, you know, you have that stick, you can feel that that vroom, vroom, vroom. You, you, it's not automatic, you know. And when you when you feel the knobs, it's 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 a different. I don't know. It's a different uh, feeling. Yeah, some pedals are crazy, some are not. I uh, Even I can emulate some, I did some racks in, um, because in Ableton, like the patcher, like in FL, in Ableton they are called racks and you can emulate a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. These are gonna be in the, the kit. A variety of styles of it's gonna be crazy. sounds really dope let me take this one you guys are ready for the second trick 77 144 right double if we double it <laughs> talking about bro stay in school guys and learn math you need it <laughs> look for example now when I I I don't know when I'm gonna use math ever <laughs> here in this case in this scenario <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, let's wait for some contact. Yeah, guys, you need <laughs> you need math, you need like history, you need all that. But when I was younger, I didn't know that I really would need this stuff. I will. Let me see. Uh, let's take which one. NG nylon strings, of course. You know the sauce right here? I'm gonna move it right here just to make some melodies under it. So we already with this loop from the from the inception kit, we're gonna be released in, I cannot say when. Uh, we already have a bass, a really good bass, right? And I'm going to show you a trick that you can implement right away. You're going to be obsessed with it, like I was. the velocities right because it's kind of the classic five right five up let's go with this one five as well sample it mm -hmm. all right all right so 
in this situation when you already have like a dope melody i could go on like this and start a beat under it no problem but what i like to test always want to see take it to the next level take it to the next level every every time because nowadays everybody making loops everybody making beats what 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 you have to stand out a little bit right you gotta try some crazy stuff all right so we have a dope uh loop from uh theo the producer we have the cool guitar we again we resampled it in fl you can this take it to edison export it as a loop and then in fl you take it to fl slicer right or slice x right in ableton we take it to simpler we slice it and we make it like this and now the most important part bro i should charge for this honestly you can take any midi generator midi generator i me as a full-time loop maker i like always to get surprised with like happy accidents wh what we call happy accidents so what does it mean when, when when we like to get surprised when we generate like music we have we like to get those happy accidents happy surprises and this is a trick that i use to get those happy accidents i root so this is riffer by audio modern it's a cool uh, midi generator okay but you can use whatever you want i like this because it's very simple and easy it doesn't matter which key are you using because you will use this midi generator to root it to fl studio fl uh fruity slicer check out rootings in um in fl on youtube believe me it will worth it so i'm gonna root in ableton we do like this we root it like this a riffer and we let him generate for us music this is no ai stuff this is no ai nothing this is a midi generator and fl slice x or slicer okay and let let him generate i will generate right here <laughs> whoa whoa so this is already dope this is already dope this is already dope come on guys come on guys and and maybe i couldn't even like generate this on my own i have like this on the keyboard right where is where is the where is the sound huh you have these slices you can see these slices but i couldn't like generate so the midi what it does is generates it it generates like the midi and the midi ignites every little chop in here you know what i mean and what can we do next so for example i like this one right oh my god bro bro come on come on i'm put you on sauce where's my money <laughs> honestly I, i'm telling you we are 41 guys right here don't tell this to anyone it's gonna be our little secret I don't want I don't want to be cheesy. I don't want to be like that. You know what I mean? But honestly, I'm doing this for producer grind and for the community and for you guys. But uh this is this is my secret. I I didn't find this anywhere. I I I hopefully I I am the uh, I discovered it. I I would like to think this way. <laughs> but of course, YouTube is big. We are uh, I don't know 8, 8, 8 billion people on this earth. So I I uh, but I am the one who I am the one who discovered this on my own, never seen it on YouTube. And believe me, I'm going to very deep black holes on the internet, looking and searching, searching from underground sound design stuff and crazy stuff like this. But this is a thing where you can generate stuff, stuff and do happy accidents with your beat. So please, I don't want to hear you guys saying, 
I am uh, out of uh, inspiration. I have a beat block. A boo, 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 boo. No, there is no thing as beat block. You, you have to take this seriously. You have to take this seriously every day, like a full time job. I, 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 I did this way every time, like back in the day. Uh, sorry, I don't feel um, inspired. Uh, I should take a break. Maybe take a, a sip of tea and let. No, shut up. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, guys, no, no. You, you, every day you, I, you have to do this. You have to do this and discover. You, you maybe you will discover some stuff like this. the river but I like it if it sounds like this yeah, okay sounds cool I'll put it aside because this is our canvas right we are not paintings we are not like painters this is our canvas right I'm gonna put this aside I'm gonna generate another one so this is the AI that I created, right? Not the AI that everybody can buy or whatever. No, it's your loop and your AI that you will create. Test it out. Believe me. Yeah, exactly. Let's try let's try to generate another one. Repeat for the guys who are in the chat like didn't saw this technique. I'm chopping here a loop that I made and then I connected a MIDI generator to the to the to the sliced audio, right? Let's generate another one. So the key, remember, it doesn't matter. You don't control the key here. He He's only uh, generating rhythmic stuff, rhythmic patterns, all right? Doesn't matter. If you change the key, it will generate, it will uh, go like uh, high in the ending of the loop or in the beginning of the loop. I love this. Rooting in Ableton. In Ableton, it's uh, it's easy. So you you go here, and instead of all ins, you just select the riffer, so or the MIDI generator that you like. Again, here and here, and you select both of these. You have to be armed. Okay. That you can Google Google by yourself, because in every DAW is different, right? So we have two generated. Okay, I will I will resample this. Ah, yeah, you're right. My screen is out of focus. So on one channel you have the MIDI generator right here, right? And here you will have the fruity slicer, for example, if you're NFL, right? So the chopped audio in one channel and on the other channel, a MIDI channel uh, with the riffer or the MIDI generator. And here on the, ri on the uh, chopped audio on slice X or slicer in FL, whatever you root it directly through riffer so riffer could control the slicer fruity controls the slicer instead of a human you know what i mean all right i want to do another another one let's see
sometimes I like to go like crazy, even like thousands of notes. I don't care. And then put half time on it. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is not original. I honestly, I never heard like uh, a loop like this before. Come on, come on. You know what I mean. And then you can, you can. Uh, let's try this. You cannot. Okay, I just went with the wave. You know what I mean. This is not necessarily a loop, but it's a it's a, a dope starter for the things you will do, right? Now, I will shift it up. Okay, I will record this as well. Let's record. Oh shit, I forgot. All right. So we have two melodies generated. Let's take another one and the last one. Let's see. No half time. Sounds dope as two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, now. take these two because I will need them later I will delete this and let's see what we created so we got of course you can go like this for hours right and every time you will have a different a different loop a different starter for me let's see the other one what we can do with this one One better. All right, and let's see the last one. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, I understand Russian, of course. No, I was joking. Bro, translate in English. If you hopefully it's some nice words, not some cursing. We are not allowed cursing in here. Mm. 
Only me. <laughs> no, no, I was joking. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> this is too. The screen is too big. Yeah, boy. And now you're looking like for spots that uh, are you interested in. That's the thing with the halftime and triplet because it's not everything on time every time. sounds too good i have to save it fast dg live second beat yes sir love from the trenches oh my god bro i don't want to talk about war and stuff like that <laughs> all right so i really like this one let's take it further what we have here some really dope one shot whoa 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 really dope let's see the key which are in. remember i i told you that i export um I export always export a uh, piano just to make sure not to focus on tuner and you see this way you know that it's in uh, E don't use a all right it's perfect so let's take it a step further and now let's go to this one oy, 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 oy. we are in e e let's go let's go <laughs> And this is what I love about about producer Grand bro. Every time we have something very very interesting and cool.
this moment I'm out for studio. What do you mean? Let's put a texture. C sharp, let's go E. One, two, three, one, two, three. I did the rhyme right there. <laughs> FL bro, bro, I got the FL right here, but I like using it. But anyway, what's the difference? It's a doll, right? I don't understand this thing, Ableton, Reason, whatever, man. Just make dope sounds. Who cares what you're using, bro? Thank you. 
let's go. Okay, let's take this part and again, like just the first beat like I did. All right. Now let's duplicate it. Here. All right. Let's duplicate it. I don't remember what the oh, okay. Come on, Browski. What you doing, Browski? And pitch it up. Let's see. Let's see, take it like this. 
Much better. Yo, 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 what's up, Dylan? Yeah, so guys, you know what? Uh, how we started? We started with the loop from the Inception key that will come out. I don't know when. It's a secret. <laughs> then I got some some guitars on it. As I said, you can start or is it just perfect as it is? Yeah, but I always like to test different variations. Maybe this you can do as a loop, send it out as a loop. This you can make it as well as a beat of yours. And you, you got free products in one. You know what I mean? And send these, for example, if you, if the beat doesn't, doesn't hit that hard, you can take this part, this part and send it as a starter for a producer. You know what I mean? So send this part as a as a as a starter for a producer. This one as a loop. And it's and it's one hundred percent like 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 yours, right? Because you put your take on it and and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and don't forget the trick that I showed you with the MIDI generator, right? The MIDI generator with, with the, how we generated the, the loop, right? And we did also this one. This one as well. So, guys, I, I, I told you like some really 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 dope uh, gems right here and i told you i i never give out this type of stuff don't forget try to uh, with the midi generator on your chopped loops is any of those guys in here like new let me show you again for the guys who jumped in uh, later on the stream <laughs> Just, just throw in an RC20, a little bit of EQ, you know what I mean? I'm talking about like like loops right here. And now, again, for the ones who came out later, we have this. We take this loop that we created, right? We take this loop again on the slicer, right? In FL, you have like Fruity Slicer, right? Fruity slice X, whatever you, you want to... We want to use and in the other one i'm gonna add a midi generator of your your preferred one my preferred one is this one called riffer <coughs> and i'm gonna let my midi generator choose a chunk of the loop and for example right here we have this part okay let's see and hear what our ai like we we created this ai like in brackets we created this one right let's see what it can generate again you can do this in any doll okay let's root no let's make it here you see now it's, it's all over the place let him do his work and we adjust while he is looping
right now it's in eighth notes no look like 16th and remember this 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 notes and the scale doesn't matter because he is uh, generating rhythmic patterns not scale if you want to choose the scale you play with this right here all right So, not the it's not the MIDI that generating this this song. It's our loop that is generated by the MIDI. You know, so this is the MIDI that generates just like human touch. You know, this loop. Okay, guys. So, thank you for for hopping in. Hope you like it. Uh, hope you like the tricks that I showed you. Of course, don't forget uh, go to the description and see the PG Weekly. Dope sounds. Dope. Dope. Dope every week fresh new sounds this is what i cooked up with it and um <laughs> why is this right here is the media yeah. where is it Yeah, so no more beat blocks, no more, no more excuses. Let's go, let's go. PG Weekly in the description. Check him out and use my techniques, and definitely you will, you will, you will be one of the best. So see you again next, guys. Peace.